Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Comet by Andrew Dean. Before we do this, of course, like and subscribe. At the time of this, I'm nearly at 10,000 subscribers. Now, I know for cat videos and stuff, that's not much, and influencers, but for my little niche channel, I've got a little thing written somewhere when I started it. It's my goal was to one day get 10,000 subscribers. Imagine. So I'm nearly there, which is exciting. So please do uh, share, share it and tell people about it and say, look at Steve's review channel. It's good. It is because he talks about reviews, but also magic and life probably and things. So do that and um, have a look at onlinemagic.co to enhance your life and make you a better human being and magician. OnlineMagic.co, the world's finest online membership magic training site, according to me. So, and Instagram at Steve Faulkner and podcast Steve Faulkner's Magic Show. This is a card to wallet, this is, as I nearly slip off of my own table. And I've had this a very long time. Sorry, Andy, that's come out. It's beautifully packaged, really nicely done. And, uh, and it's a very small card to wallet. And some of the wallets, some of them are really big. You can't do them in your trousers or your pants. That sounds very different depending on where you come from. You don't want to be doing card magic in your pants in England, but you do want to be doing that in the USA. So this does a few things. First of all, it has a, a kind of optical illusion style card to wallet where the wallet, the card isn't actually in the wallet, but it looks like it is when you pull it out of the wallet. I won't show you that. I might show you that on the download. Luckily, 22 minute download. Thank you very much for that, Andy. Uh, that was very handy. Where he kind of bangs through it, not in a bad way, but it's not in depth. Okay, so if you're a beginner, you're gonna to want to, you know, sort of go back a step, I think. But, so it, I had this in my um, JOL wallet as well. And I think, I, I get all the names, is, it, is that a Malika style load? I, I don't know, but it's a kind of, you can do it kind of palmless, not the way Andy does it, but in the original one. But, so it's not actually in there, you open it up and you kind of pull it out like this and it looks like it's been in the wallet. And it totally does. Nobody's gonna doubt that it's in the wallet and it's a nice handling. The load of that is easy. It's really, really easy because you not actually put it in a wallet, but it is gonna take a bit of practice. The, I probably, to be honest, wouldn't do that one. I don't really see the benefits over the other ones. The two great revelations here are using the kind of inbuilt nice part of this wallet. So if you've got your credit cards in there, and this is metal, right? This is like a metal, is it metal? Or maybe it isn't, it's hard, it feels like metal. Um, I should research more, shouldn't I? But it's solid and you can choose the color of this I think this comes in brown leather and black leather and you can choose the color of this bit. But one of the reveals is that you have this little thing at the bottom here and it pushes your credit cards up, which I love. I think that's really, really cool. So it pushes them up and he, he can do a thing like a rising card thing and then you just say, no, it's just part of the wallet. It allows you to do this. And you pull the credit cards out, you go through and there is a half folded, not mercury card folded card in there. Now the load of that is easy. The great thing is that the cards themselves act as a feed, but as he said, once you've been doing it a while, you won't even need that. But at the beginning, it is going to take a little bit of practice, but it's, it's a very easy load. For half folding the card, easier than a Mercury card fold. You could do a Mercury card fold, um, but half folding it's even easier. And if you know your stuff, you also know at the end of an ambitious card routine or, or whatever you're doing, it's very, very easy to do because the trick's finished in the eyes of the spectator. So you've got all the time in the world if you want to do it that way. But the best reveal is this card to envelope. Now, I've been in card to envelope with Bonslopes for many, many years. I did use Harry Robson's wallet for many years. And this, Harry's given Andrew the sort of template for mini versions of that. And you have a feed. And if you know your stuff, you know what I'm talking about. In the same way as many, many card to wallets. And you get those. You get a template to make those. You get a template to make the envelopes. That's a lovely thing because they're super, super easy. You don't have to spend any more money. It's all there and it's not gonna take you very long. And Andy takes you through in the video how to stick it all together. He's got like a top-down shot of taking you through it. And you've also got a PDF template for that, um, which you can print out, which is brilliant for the feeds and the envelopes. But the reveal is here. 
So, and the spectator can the spectator can do both of those things. They can do that bit, which I think is cool, and they can do this bit where they take this out. And this is a really lovely, cute little thing. I think it's it's great. And that's a sealed envelope. They can either open it normally, or they can tear it, or you can tear it, or I can't tear it. Here, <laughs> and the cardage fold that could again be mercury card folded but it is a bit easier to load if it's a folded card so i think it's lovely it's really it's not going to sort of get all knackered up in your pocket i know a lot of wallets don't but i do because i'm rubbish at carrying things for pocket management it's great it's small it can go in your, your jeans pocket front or back or your jacket if you want to but i think this is kind of made for for kind of you know trousers pants whatever you want to call it so and there's the peak so there's a peak in this it's very very simple like all peaks like all peaks it's going to take some trust that and faith that it's going to work because we always think i'm not going to get away with that and when you do it i've talked about this many times you it, you forget how strong it is the peak is very very simple it's just sort of as you're straightening people up or talking to them or gesturing and i've got the peak there and that involves them just putting the the business card face down in there and just carrying on and doing what you got to do to get the peak. So it's very practical. It's very well made. It's really decent weather. Uh, weather. It's, it's not very decent weather. It's terrible weather. I live in Sheffield and it's winter time. <laughs> but it's, it's quite good leather as well. Uh, it looks great. It's got that lovely thing where it keeps all your credit cards together. It's got the nice little pop-up thing, which I think is a nice thing in a wallet anyway. And I really, really like it. If you like your card wallets, you want something smaller, a little bit more practical that will fit in your trousers, jeans, pants, or underwear, uh, or in your hat, you can do that, not in your hat. So very nice, not much more to say. A good bit of kit. Sorry it took me so long, Andy. Um, and this is independently made by Andrew Dean, and you should totally check it out. Not just because it's independently made, because it's actually really, really good wallet. I would use it, no doubt at all. Will I at gigs? Don't know if I'm so used to mine. Um, oh, I will say one thing. The load into the, um, the envelope at the time when you get it and it's new is quite a tight thing. So you're going to have to practice that, but it doesn't take much practice. So for those people that can handle their cards, great. If you can't, go back a step, learn your controls, learn your your palms the palming is super easy because it's alpha card all right so don't get worried about it uh but it's great so there's the comet wallet any questions i'm probably forgot loads of stuff put them in the comments down there and i will answer them on a video and have a great one off you go now check out onlinemagic.co tell people about this let's get me up to ten thousand. and check out instagram at steve faulkner look at my stories i'm obviously or not obviously always putting a load of old nonsense on there um, but sometimes quite entertaining, probably. And like and subscribe. Cheers.